Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Today I collaborated with Dr. Fashion and we are going to be making these cards with our Cricut to check out Britney's version of the video. Check the link down in the description. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, y'all. I'm so excited to show you how I made these. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let us. So these are the materials I'm going to be using today. I'm either going to use my scorn wheel because I have the Cricut Maker or the stylus. I think I'll use a stylus. This is the paper recollections. I got this from Michaels. It is 65 pounds in different colors. I have my gel pen set. I'm so excited to use these for the first time. My Cricut. These are just some different colors. I'm going to be using either my art glitter glue, my brayer to lay things down, of course my Cricut mat, or I may use my crafter tape. Y'all know I love this crafter tape. So I may use both one or the other. Here's some other color card stock. Some of these are 12 by 12s and some of them are eight and a half by 11. So depending on which ones I use, I'm not sure yet, but it doesn't matter because Cricut will cut it out either way. All right, so these are the materials and let's get to it. Okay, y'all, it's time to make these cards. So I am going to um, go ahead and show you how I'm making the cards, but I just want to quickly show you if you don't know how to upload images inside of Cricut Design Space, I will be using Cricut Design Space today. I'm just going to quickly show you. You will go to upload image and you can either drag and drop or you can um, go to browse and upload. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and upload an image. Okay. And then I'm going to go to complex. I'm going to go to continue. And then we're going to get to this page. Now, I removed the backgrounds in Canva. I did get this from the internet. So you could I could have used the background over here, but I'm so used to doing it in Canva. I just removed it in Canva. But if you need to remove the background, go ahead, click to remove the background. Uh, press apply and continue. And then you want to use these as a print then cut image. Okay, you don't want to cut image. You want to select print then cut. Then you will upload the image. All right. I already uploaded it but i'm just showing you guys okay once you upload the image you would select it then down at the bottom there it shows you what's selected you can select multiple images if you need to and then press add to canvas okay we already have them in the canvas so we're not going to do that i just want to show you if you needed to know okay so let's get to this card y'all so we are going to go to do, 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 shapes we're going to grab a square and that's under the free images. I do have the Cricut Access, and that's why I showed you this A down here because it's included in my subscription. If you didn't have it, you would have to purchase it for these specific um, shapes. Okay, so we're gonna go unlock here, and then we're gonna make this, and now you can drag it or you can just size it here at the top. So I'm gonna do eight in width and seven in height. Okay, for right now, then I'm going to go ahead and just drag it to nine. So I'm going to do, we're putting it at the zero because we're going to be using eight and a half by 11 paper. So we want to make sure that the images and everything go. And it, this is going to be our card. Okay. So with our card, I'm going to change it to one of my favorite colors up here. I'm going to change it to like a pinkish color. Let's play around with it. There we go. Okay. So this is going to be the base of the card. And this is what your Cricut will be cutting. All right. As you see under operation, it says basic cut. Now let's move them over. Let's move them over a little bit. Now we're going to resize her. And like I said, we just want to make sure that we're not going over 10. And once you get her in the right spot that you want her, 
Okay, I had to resize her because you want to make sure that the size of your image can actually fit on the front page and not get um, cut off by the bend of the page. So for example, if it is 10 inches in width, you want your image to be less than five. I hope that makes sense. Half an A, we're going to make her 4.202 just to be on the safe side because he'd rather be safe than sorry now remember you can just keep her on here like this or you can put words on her so be mindful of how big you want her to be because let's say you want to put some words at the top you want to just play around with it as much as possible so the card is seven inches in height she's 5.8 so if you wanted to put words on here you can i'll probably put queen or something like that so we're going to lock her back and what we're going to do is make sure that she doesn't come over the 10th spot, okay? So if you want to make her a little bit wider because she's going to be over here, you can do that. All right. So now, there we go. Now I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to go to a range. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go to a line and I'm going to align the bottom. So she's at the bottom of the card. All right, that's very important. Now you see everything is seven inches, okay? So you have enough to put a couple words up here if you want or large, large font, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate her, slide her over, and then I'm going to go ahead and select these two images. You'll see what's selected by looking over here. You see under layers, you see those two things are highlighted. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to weld them together. It's slice, weld, attach, flatten, and contour, which is like out because we can't do that for this. But we're going to weld it. This is very important because you want to make sure that the backing of the car, you're going to be um, gluing her on. All right, you see she's behind. So we're going to go to a range. We're going to send her to the front. And we're going to just place her in there. That's how we're going to glue her later. Okay, so we scoot her over. Now we're going to click here. And now we're going to make our score lines, our perforated part of the card that can fold. We're going to go to shapes. We're going to select this line here. And then we're going to scoot it over. We're going to make it seven inches in height because that's how large the card is. Okay, we're going to slide it over. I'm going to select these two. I'm going to select these two images and I'm going to go to a line and we're going to center it. Okay. So now this is centered. We're going to slide her over to make sure she's fine. She fits perfect. She's not too far over near the fold. She is, um, it's enough space if you wanted to put some words. We're going to select all those images and see. We can put words up here if we wanted to. We can do whatever we want. This is the front of the card. This is the back of the card. So now, if we were to go to make it, let's hide these real quick. If we were to go to make it, this is going to be a print then cut. And this is going to be a basic cut. If you look at operations, you can see what's going on. A basic cut. And then a print to then cut. We're going to print this out on white card stock. Once you print this out, we're going to glue this on top of this card here. Okay. That's how we do it. Okay. So now that we have this all together, it's a couple things you can do. If you want to put words on here, you can type them out. You can use the, um, the writing form, you can do whatever you want to do, or you can write on the card yourself. It's really up to you. But what I want to do is, if you wanted to put a piece of paper in the inside of the card, you will have to go to shapes again, and then you're going to unlock it. And depending on how large you want your the piece of paper, you may want it little like that. You may want it the, the whole size. Everything is really up to you and your creative wishes, whatever you want. So this right here is going to be what's going to be inside of this paper. And this is going to cut separately by itself. All right. So you play around with it. You center it. You get it however you want it to be perfect inside of there. And then the Cricut can cut it for you. You can go ahead and change the inside paper to white because that's the color I'm going to use. And I'm just going to jump in and show you how I made the insert of the words for the card. So we could put some more words ourselves or we can go to images. And then... 
Oh, you see that XOXO? So I have all types of stuff in here. I'm going to go with this one. We're going to add it. And let's see how this go. Let's go to pen. And you see how it changed it? Then I'm going to put... Queen, love yourself. Now let's get back to making the outside of the actual card. Okay, so now that we have that all together, everything is looking good. Let's go ahead and we're going to add some words. Now you can write it yourself. You can type it out. You can do whatever you want. We're actually going to go ahead and have our Cricut write it out. I'm so happy this is my first time using the um, Cricut pen, so I'm really excited. We're going to go ahead and go over to text. Once you hit text, it says add text here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to fonts, right? It automatically goes to Cricut Sans. We're going to click that, and then we're going to go to filter, and we're going to go to writing. Once we go to writing, these are all of the fonts that Cricut can write for you. But once you click writing, it's going to look a little bit different. So let's see what font do I want to use? I think I'm going to try B BFC Rustic Cherry. This does have an A by it, so this is in Cricut Access, just so you know. So I click that, and I'm going to put Queen Love. Oop, that's not Queen. Queen Love. All right. Queen Love, as you see here, it says Queen Love, BFC Rustic Cherry, and then it's under Writing. So that's how I know. Now I am going to curve it. And I heard you can only curve on your desktop or your laptop. All right. So we're going to put it over. Something cool I saw, when you go to style and writing, if it's writing, it says operation pen. If it's regular, it's basic cut. Huh. So if you want to add vinyl, you could do that too. Let's see. I like Queen Love, but let me just check a couple other fonts out real quick. I think I like this one. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller. Queen Love. All right. Now, if you wanted to put something on the back, like I said before, you know, this is the back. You could do that right here. And then we're going to just put do. Oh, no. Why is it on signature? I don't want that font. Okay, so I'm just going to pick the font BFC Rustic Cherry. And I put do dream on. You put whatever you want on the back of here. Queen love. That's cute. Okay, so now we're going to take her over out the way, and then I'm going to highlight all of this. Now, remember, we know if it's highlighted, if it shows over here. So you want to make sure everything is highlighted, the words, the score line, the will, everything, right? And then what we're going to do is attach it. Once we do that, Cricut is going to print, then cut this, and cut this out, write this out, score this out, all right? Okay, so now this is going to print. It says print then cut image. And then this is going to score first. Use the pen second, then do the basic cut. Okay, it's very important that you make sure you use that dialog. I'm going to leave the bleed on for this one. I rarely do that, but I'm going to use this dialog system. We can do heavyweight paper. Make sure we do that best quality because that's the most important thing, okay? For all of the cutting, I use the light car stock 65 pound. Okay, 
So it's very important that you lay it this way so that it can match what we have in our system. Now what I'm gonna do in our Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna put this in here, but I have to put the score first because Cricut will show you what you have to do, okay? And the first thing you have to do, they're going to do is score. Remember, it was score, pin, then basic cut. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to make it easy. I'm not going to switch my actual um, blade to put the wheel in. But I'm, I've never done this before, so I'm really excited. I'm going to just put my stylus pin inside of there. Close it up. Okay. And then we're going to... Oh, I'm so excited. It's my first time using it. I'm supposed to leave it there and then just load the pin. This is so exciting. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness, look how good that came out. Y'all, I'm blown away. So now we have the card. We're gonna fold it on our little bin. Looky, looky. Okay, it's so nice. And then we're gonna either tape or glue her on here. One or the other. Let's see. But first, let's go ahead and print out the inside of the card, okay? All right, so cute. Now let's go ahead and put our card together. And this is a lighter pink. This is more like a tan nude And that. So we're gonna grab our glue. And like I said, we could do glue or we could do our tape. We're gonna just try to glue. And I'm going to just make sure we get all around her little curls, all around the edges. Don't want to get it on the front. And then be easy with my glue. Y'all know how y'all like getting on me about my glue. Contact me in my DMs and stuff. <laughs> so much. You know you ain't need to use that much glue. It was funny. All right. Uh -uh. Oh, Lord. We got a little glue on her face. Hopefully that clear, it, hopefully it dries clear. So I want to just make sure the curls match up. And then we're gonna use the tape for the inside because I'm not dealing with that glue. <laughs> there we go. So cute. Made the sign or whatever. But there we go. Now, I did make the other card, and this card I end up making larger than the first one. So, I'm going to go really quickly, but I did want to at least show you how I did this one. It's going to be in super fast speed, but yeah, I still wanted to just show you how I did it. And later on, I'll show you, I'll share with you all of the inches and dimensions and all of that. All right, y'all, and those are the two cards. <laughs> I even drew those on <laughs> because I forgot to let my Cricut do it. I took it out. Then you can write whatever you want in the inside. Queen La. Once again, this is my... Oh, man, I'm so mad I got that glue on her face. Anywho, um, once again, this is is one of my images on my Etsy Do Dream On. And then that's the inside. So cute. Also, if you wanted to use a heavier card stock for the actual card portion, that's perfectly fine. I have the 65 pounds already and that 12 by 12 already. But if you wanted to use a heavier, like the 110 or the 80 or 85, I believe, you can definitely use that for the card portion.
Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my goodness, these were so fun to make. I absolutely love both of these. If you didn't know this is one of my images, you can check it out in my Etsy, Do Dream More. She's so cute. And then, y'all, I wanted to do a different love. Actually, I should have done a different love, but whatever. Anywho, these cards are so fun to make. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can take a look at them. And then I'm going to give you all of the actual measurements once I let you get a closer look at them. Okay, for the Queen Love card for the outside, it was 9.86 inches in width and 7 inches in height. For the actual image, it was 4.25 inches in width and 5.8 in height. For the insert, it was 4.56 inches in width and 6.69 in height. All right, for the a different a different love <laughs> card it was 10.10 .10 for the card and then the Dwayne and Whitley photo was 5.27 by 7.29 all right so those are the exact inches and that's a wrap please like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns please holler at your girl Join our Facebook group, Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, Do Dream One is the handle. TikTok, Do Dream One is the handle. Subscribe to my Shanita Nicole YouTube channel. And um, yeah, I think that sums it up. Don't forget to check out Dr. Fashion's version of this video. Link down in the description. Oh, and another way to check out Dr. Fashion's version of making these cards using our Cricut, click the video on the screen to head over to her channel. You are going to love her version, so go ahead. Hey, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. here. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.